Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you about rice. World's most important crop after wheat and maize, it forms the staple diet of about half of the world's population. It provides food security, social security, nutritional and economic security. It's a staple food for people of East, Southern Asia where 90% of the world's rice is grown and consumed. Rice is a warm season crop grown extensively in humid tropics and subtropical regions of the world. The scientific name is Oryza sativa belongs to family Graminae and chromosome number 2n equal to 2x equal to 24. The cultivated and consumable rice is in diploid form. Origin of rice is South and Southeast Tropical Asia. Distribution is in China, India, Japan, Pakistan and islands. In India, rice is grown on area of 42 million hectare with production of 109 million tons per year. Important states growing paddy are Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, MP, UP, Karnataka. Rice scenario in India, it's a staple food for two-third of Indians hold key for food security contributes 43 percent it gives annual production of around 100 million tons and contributes 25 percent to agriculture gdp rice is life to indians as per india vision 2020 vision envisages the target for 2020 at 163 ma million metric tons that is milled rice at the existing growth rate of 1.34 per annum, India can achieve rice production of 106 million metric tons by 2020. Importance of rice among food crops, it occupies large area. Among cereals, it survives better under saline and alkaline conditions, best suited for lowland and waterlogged conditions. It contain about 20% husk and 80% grain. Availability of short duration photo insensitive varieties. Coming to nutritional importance. It's a nutritious cereal crop, the main source of energy and important source of protein. Composition per 100 gram of edible portion of milled rice. Moisture percent is Moisture content is 13.7 grams, protein 6.8 grams, fat 0.5 gram, fiber 0.2 gram, calories 345 kilocalorie, phosphorus 160 mg, riboflavin 0.06 mg, essential amino acids 1.05 mg, minerals 0.6 gram, carbohydrate 78.2 gram, calcium 10 mg, iron. 0.7 mg, thiamine 0.06 mg, niacin 1.9 mg, folic acid 8 mg and magnesium 90 mg. Taxonomical classification. Uh, rice belongs to kingdom plantae, division magnoliophyta, class liliopsida, order poels, family graminae or poaceae, tribe oryzae, genus oryza and species sativa. Geographical origin, the greatest diversity is located in the belt of Assam Meghalaya area in India. Oriza glabarima is indigenous to upper valley of Niger river of Africa. That means there are two major um, genus Oriza sativa and Oriza glabarima which are geographically located in different continents or different regions in the world. Different species of Oriza. It uh, uh, the ori the occurrence is in diploid as well as tetraploid form. The wild are mostly in diploid as well as tetraploid form, whereas cultivated are mostly in diploid form. Oriza sativa. The genome is A A. Chromosome number is twenty four. Oriza glabarima is A G A G. That is uh, cultivated in Africa and sativa is cultivated worldwide with chromosome number 24. Oriza australiensis, the genome is EE with chromosome number 24 cultivated in Australia. Oriza minuta, genome is BBCC, 
chromosome number 48 and origin is Philippines. Or as the officinalis genome is CC, um, it is distributed in India and Bangladesh. Or as the ALTA genome is CCDD, chromosome number 48 uh, that is uh, distributed origin is Brazil, Paraguay. Or as a granulator genome is FF24 chromosome number and distributed in Southeast Asia. Or as a Nivara, the genome is AA. A, it is uh, distributed in India and origin is India. Or as a Rufi Pogon, AA and 24 chromosome number. Or as a Bharti is AGAG. The origin is Africa. Brachianta, FFFF. This is a tetraploid and origin is Africa. Evolution of cultivated rice. Rice originated from Ariza Perennis, a common ancestor according to known sources that was divided into South and Southwest Asia and Tropical Africa. The Asiatic rice, the probable progenitor is Ariza Rufi Progan from there to Ariza Nivara, then Satava that uh, is again divided into Indica, Japonica and Javanica. Whereas tropical African rice is the probable progenitor or is a longestaminator that gave rise to or is a Bharti. Longestaminator is AA genome, Bharti is AGAG and or is a Glabarima is again AGAG. Characteristics of Indica, Japonica, Javonica that is the subspecies of Sativa. Tillering habit, Indica has high tillering, Japonica low and Javonica low. Height of Indica is tall, Japonica medium and Javonica tall. Lodging, Indica is susceptible, Japonica is resistant, Javonica is moderate. Photo period, Indica is sensitive, Japonica is non-sensitive and Javanica is non-sensitive. Cool temperature, Indica is sensitive and Japonica and Javanica are tolerant. Grain shattering in Indica is partial and in the uh, rest of the two it is low. Grain type in Indica it is long to medium and in Japonica it is short and round, Javanica large and bold. Grain texture, it is non-sticky, non-sticky, uh, then Japonica is sticky and Javanica is intermediate. Indica is high in amylose, Japonica is low and Javanica is intermediate. Javanica is always intermediate between Indica and Japonica. Japonica is consumed in Japan, China and uh, other countries where the sticky rice is preferred whereas indica is a fluffy rice which is which is very dried condition growth phases of the plant coming to vegetative phase that is germination to panicle initiation stage is zero from germination to emergence stage one is seedling stage two is tillering stage three is stem elongation second phase is reproductive that is panicle initiation to flowering in this stage 4 to stage 6 where stage 4 is panicle initiation to booting, stage 5 is heading or panicle exertion, stage 6 is flowering. The third phase is ripening, flowering to maturity of grains, here milk grain stage, dough grain stage and finally in stage 9 it is maturity stage where the grain is ready to harvest. Period or growth phases vegetative phase it takes 45 days or uh, in IR 64 and uh, in IR 8 it is 65 days reproductive phase for IR 64 is 35 days and for IR 8 also 35 days and ripening to ripe it takes 30 days for um, uh, IR 64 and 30 days for IR 8 the total duration is 110 for IR 64 and 130 for IR 8 Here the different plant parts and different parts of flowers are given in this picture. Stage 0 is germination to emergence and stage 1 is seedling, stage 2 is tillering and 
Stage 3 is semi elongation. Stage 4 wear panicle initiation to booting emergence. Stage 5 heading. Stage 6 flowering that is reproductive phase. In stage 7 milking or uh, milk stage. Dough stage. Then maturity stage is stage 9 that is ripening phase. Coming to botanical feature, rice is a monocarpic plant that flowers once, set seeds and then die. Roots are fibrous, consist crown roots and nodal roots, stem made up of nodes and internodes, leaf is leaf blade and leaf sheath. Flower, the inflorescence is terminal panicle that is composed of spikelets. Spikelet contains two sterile lemma, the rachilla and the floret. Rachilla is the small axis between rudimentary glooms and fertile florets. Floret includes lemma, pelia and flower. Fruit is a caryopsis which is enclosed by lemma and pelia. The specific and peculiar character of rice is it can be grown throughout the year provided the temperature and water facilities are available in a growing region. Coming to anthesis, spikelet opening and dehiscence of anthers. It contains six anthers. Spikelets on the primary branch open first following spikelets on the secondary branches. Lowermost opens last. That means the flowering is in bicipital succession. Complete and this is uh, takes about 7 to 10 days. Condition for normal blooming. Optimum temperature of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. A relative humidity of 70 to 80 percent and bright sunshine. Time and extent of blooming. Blooming time is 9 am to 1 pm in the noon. Blooming period is 5 to 10 days. Blooming duration is 70 to 200 minutes. Peak blooming is from 10 am to 11 am. The pollen viability is for 4 to 5 minutes. Exceptionally, 15 minutes is also reported. In wild species, it is 8 to 9 minutes. Pollen duration, number of spikelets in a panicle are 150 to 200, number of anthers in a spikelet are 6, number of pollen grains in an anther 1800 to 2200, normal pollen fertility is 90 to 95%, number of pollen grains in a spikelet are 20, 2000 into 6 that is 12,000, number of pollen grains per panicle are around 18 lakh. Number of pollen grains available for effective pollination are 5 to 10 percent. Coming to floral biology, panicle complete emergence from flag leaves in 2 to 5 days. Single panicle takes about 4 to 10 days to complete blooming. It starts from apical spikelets and proceeds. Anthers dehis and shed pollen just at the time of opening of the flower. Receptivity of stigma is maximum during first three days after opening and spikelets and then gradually decrease within seven days. Viability of pollen is only for about five to seven minutes. Pollen remain viable for four to five minutes. Coming to pollination and fertilization, pollen is shed on the protruded stigma of the same spikelet or neighboring spikelets of the same plant. Fertilization is completed within 6 hours and occurs in the spikelet. This is a complete flower which is hermaphrodite. The 6 anthers then how the pollen uh, come out of the anthers and uh, placed on the stigmatic surface. These are Bifed stigma, pollen tube, ovule, and other labeled parts. The stigma receptivity period first day, the receptivity is more than 99%, 2 
and uh, seed set percent is more than 99 percent second day the chance of seed set is 80 to 98 percent third day 50 to 80 percent fourth day 20 to 50 percent and the last fifth day it is 0 to 20 percent the floral characteristics responsible for high outcrossing rate that is floral traits of cms line good panicle exertion early and assist time and centralized daily blooming long gloom opening during more than one hour wide angle that is around 45 degree to 50 degree celsius of gloom opening large stigma long style high frequency of exerted stigma long stigma receptivity emasculation methods hot air emasculation hot water emasculation vacuum emasculation and manual emasculation these are the four important uh, techniques i repeat hot air emasculation hot water emasculation vacuum in a, in a, in a emasculation and, and manual emasculation the procedure for emasculation select the plants select the individual panicle and floret clip off one third of the half of the floret to be emasculated remove all the six anthers by gently pressing against the side of the florets do not injure stigma cover the emasculated panicle this is an emasculated floret here the one third lower portion is clipped off and the above portion is also clipped off in order to get the uniform size of the spikelets from that the alternate spikes are also clipped off in order to avoid the uh, crowdiness and do not get confused with the pollinated spikelets so the slant cut is given in the on the sea in, in this portion in order to remove the anthers and to avoid the stigma injury for pollination collect the pollens from well opened flowers pollinate the individual spikelets by putting burst anthers then cover the panicle with glassine bag and attach crossing tag this is a picture representing pollinated plants and seed set in the pollinated spikelets how to ensure seed set to ensure that we can clearly find a spike like appearance or a small dome shaped appearance from the cut spikelets if it is coming with uh, greenness or if it is in alive state means it is the success rate of seed set breeding goals in rice high yield and stability photo insensitivity resistant to biotic and abiotic stress resistant to insects and pests like brown plant hopper stem borer etc then improved aroma and quality breeding methods important breeding methods are introduction pure line breeding pedigree heterosis mutation cellular and molecular breeding breeding achievements the main achievements are development of semi dwarf varieties like tn1 ir8 EICRP on rice developed Padma and Jaya, then development of hybrid rice through CGMS. The important aspects about rice is rice has been uh, selected for the Green Revolution during 1960s in India. Insect pests of rice this is rice stem borer, that is uh, Scrifophaga insetulas, then the second one is green leaf folder that is nephrolacrosis medinalis gandhi bug leptocoriza oratorius and brown plant hopper nilaparvata logan which is a very devastating pest of paddy coming to diseases the major disease is rice blast and sheath blight brown spot bacterial leaf blight and bacane disease resistant varieties for different diseases for rice blast ir8 vikramaria pankaj uh, the 
वाइल्ड स्पीशीज आर एंड अदर वैरायटीज आर तडुकन एंड टेटर राइस टंग्रो वायरस दया एंड सी एन एम फोर थर्टी नाइन फॉर बी पी एच सुरक्षा शक्तिमान इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसर्च स्टेशन फॉर राइस ए आई सी आर पी ऑन राइस स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव एट हैदराबाद Challenges ahead: global population and hunger, nutritional demand, value addition, and uh, resistant to biotic and abiotic stresses. Coming to qualitative aspects of rice, the quality of rice is a combination of physical and chemical characteristics which are required for specific use by a specific user. first and foremost trait in rice is milling recovery hulling is removal of husk milling is removal of bran these are the terminologies in milling process then total rice is total rice grain plus pieces head rice is whole grain plus 3/4 of whole grains milling recovery is 70.4 to 80% that is total rice and 24 to 74% head rice polygenic control and low heritability is found for milling recovery trait that is a genetically controlled character second one is head rice the amount of whole kernels after milling is nothing but head rice whole kernel is 75% and plus endosperm type transparent or opaque two kind of endosperms are found a pack is loose starch packaging polygenic control with low heritability waxy and non waxy condition waxy means low amylose non waxy is high amylose and uh, intermediate condition means intermediate amylose green dimension length to width ratio stable varietal property japonica are short and bold indica is long and slender grain length and shape are polygenic with high heritability categories of rice grains based on length and breadth long slender grain has length of 6 or more than 6 mm and the length to breadth ratio is 3 and above then short slender means less than 6 length to breadth ratio is 3 and above medium slender is length is less than 6 mm and length to breadth ratio is 2.5 to 3 then long bold short bold long bold is 6 and above length and length to, to breadth less than 3 and short bold is length of less than 6 and length and breadth is less than 2.5 coming to cooking quality in rice cooking quality includes grain elongation increase in grain length after cooking special features of basmati rice volume expansion ratio of volume of a staple of cooking rice to the volume of same sample is uncooked state non waxy type show greater expansion water uptake volume of water needed to cook 1 gram of rice in definite period of time aroma non scented lightly scented and scented are preferred in india these are preferred based on the cooking type and the regional specifications chemical characteristics of rice that is amylose content gelatinization temperature and gel consistency chemical characteristics of milled rice high amylose content means rice grain cook dry are less tender and become hard upon cooking low amylose means moist and sticky gel consistency measures the tendency of cooked rice to harden on cooking amylose content and cooking quality in rice amylose content up to 2 means endosperm type is waxy that is glutinous characteristic of cooked rice is sticky low volume expansion low water absorption amylose content 20 to 20 20 means low amylose 21 to 25 means intermediate amylose then uh, more than 25 or 25 means it is high amylose dry fluffy 
hard on cooking type of grains are observed amylose content is governed by a single gene but is affected by environmental factors coming to gelatinization temperature it is time required for cooking it is measured by alkali spread factor environmental effect higher temperature during growing high gelatinization temperature that ranges from 56 to 79 degree celsius higher the gelatinization temperature more and water and are needed to cook more time and water needed to cook coming to gel consistency if gel consistency is hard cooked rice tend to less sticky harder gel consistency is associated with harder cooked uh, cooked rice and this feature is particularly evident in high amylose rice gel consistency if it is soft means cooked rice has high degree of tenderness this is a preferred character that means soft gel consistency is preferred over hard gel consistency the classes of gel consistency hard means it is 27 to 35 medium means 36 to 40 medium hard is 36 to 40 medium is 41 to 60 and soft is 61 to 100 percent nutritional quality in rice protein is 6 to 13 percent it is comparatively less uh, to wheat mm, the uh, protein content is uh, controlled by polygenic trait protein quality that is amino acid balance is quite good lysine content ranges between 3.8 to 4 percent coming to hybrid rice need of hybrid rice because rapidly increasing population and plateauing yield tend to high yielding varieties declining resources and un unavailability of labor hybrid rice is one of the practically feasible and readily absorb uh, adaptable option to enhance productivity of rice vertically the hybridization always lead to increased productivity as well as quality in any of the crop so uh, it is it was a feasibility when many scientists tried it during 1970s let us come to that point history of heterosis breeding in rice in 1926 heterosis in rice was reported by jones later confirmed by others in 1960 suggestions of commercial exploitation of heterosis in rice by racharia Stencil and Krieg Melis. In 1964, China started hybrid rice research. 1970, China discovered a commercially usable genetic control for tool for hybrid rice that is male sterility in a wild rice, wild abortive cytoplasm. That means always remember this will appear in the competitive examples that the hybrid rice dream came true because of wild abortive cytoplasm in rice 1973 pgtms that is photosensitive temperature genetic male sterility rice was found in china in 1974 first commercial three line rice hybrids released in china in 1976 large scale hybrid rice commercialization began in china in 1979 Re released research or uh, revived research on hybrid rice in 1981. PTGMS rice genetic and applications was confirmed in 1982. Yield superiority of rice hybrids in the tropics confirmed in 1990s. India and Vietnam started hybrid rice program with a in 1991. More than 50 percent of China's rice area planted to hybrids. In 1994, first commercial two-line rice hybrid released in China. From 1994 to 98, commercial rice hybrids released in China, Philippines and Vietnam. Hybrid heterosis in rice. This is a process how the hybrids are evolved from different subspecies of sativa complex. The indica and japonica complex give more number of hybrids compared to 
that means more heterosis is exploited through indica into japonica then indica into javanica then japonica into javanica indica into indica and japonica into japonica the highest heterosis is found through interspecific that is indica into japonica that is intraspecific but uh, between different subspecies and less means japonica into japonica but the thing is the success rate of indica into japonica is quite high quite low sorry this is the hybrid rice breeding technology cms line and maintainer line is crossed then cytoplasmic male sterile line is obtained and by crossing it with restorer line commercial hybrid rice is produced this is during the initial period of hybrid development prerequisites for successful hybrid technology are distinct yield advantages over open pollinated varieties and ability to produce hybrid seed on commercial scale at economical level male sterility in hybrid rice breeding in case of rice rice is a self pollinated crop requirement of seeds per unit area is high low cost commodity yield level of open pollinated varieties much higher than yield of other cereal hybrids not amenable for hand emasculation and pollination for commercial hybrid seed production so effective male sterility system is essential for development and commercial production of hybrids coming to male sterility systems used in rice first is gms that includes tgms that is temperature sensitive gms and pgms photofeedier sensitive GM, uh, gms and the combination of these two ptgms engineering gms this all comes under egms that is environmental sensitive genetic male sterility but engineering male sterility comes under gms but it is placed differently coming to cms that is cytoplasmic male sterility cgms and chemically induced male sterility these all are commercially exploited in rice and all are successful coming to cgms that is cytoplasmic genetic male sterility it involves interaction between specific sterility inducing cytoplasm and nuclear genes both sterile cytoplasm and recessive nuclear genes required for male sterility in 1954 role of cytoplasm in causing male sterility in rice was first reported utilization of cgms in rice how it is utilized first a male sterile a line is taken and crossed with b line that will give a a line means that is maintenance of a line seed parent multiplication for this a into b are crossed in the next step when r line or male fertile restorer line is crossed to a line the hybrid seeds are produced this is nothing but three line system of hybrid rice breeding coming to cms system the first successful uh, contributor was wild abortive this was first cms line used to develop commercial hybrid rice developed in china during 1973 from a male sterile plant occurring naturally in a population of wild rice that is oriza sativa spontanea in hainan island in 1970 most popular and widely used cms sources are quite stable and easily restored fertility restoration <coughs> in cms availability of effective restorers is essential for successful utilization of cms lines restoring ability of a restorer line determines seed set in f1 and magnitude of heterosis the frequency of restorers is relatively high in indica lines that is 12 to 20% and considerably low in japonica line and basmati line that is 1 to 3% 
coming to genetics of fertility restoration it is monogenic and uh, digenic control process or trait cms boro is monogenic and digenic cms wild abortive is monogenic most reported confirm two dominant genes one with a strong effect than the other stronger gene located on chromosome 1 and weaker on chromosome 10 GMS lines have been developed in the background of maintainer IR58025B and restorer IR29723. At ERI, two composite populations of restorers and two maintainer populations have been developed by this method. At um, Hyderabad, four restorer and two maintainer populations were developed by this method. The frequency of maintainers and restorers among the improved lines was found to increase base. Coming to GMS, male sterility is controlled by nuclear gene alone without any influence of cytoplasm. This is governed by a monogenic recessive gene MS in rice. EGMS deployed in rice for hybrid seed production only it is utilized in China. AGMS is environment sensitive GMS in this three type uh, TGMS, PGMS and PTGMS also used of for population improvement in rice because GMS facilitated recurrent selection. Advantages of environmental sensitive genetic male sterility system in rice here no B line required so greatly simplifies seed production. Any genotype can be used as male parent as restorer gene is not required. It ensures wider diversity of hybrids. No negative effects of sterility inducing cytoplasm. Magnitude of heterosis is greater in two line hybrids than in three line hybrids. AGMS gene can be easily transferred as it is simply inherited. Utilization of AGMS in rice the EGMS line multiplication by selfing or low temperature or short photo period that is maintained and multiplied as male sterile line and whenever the conditions are favorable or when we want hybrid seed we can cross it with male fertile pollen parent that is R line and the hybrid is ready. This is two line system. Coming to PGMS, the photo period requirement is 13.45 hours that is line sterile and if that is less than 13.45 hours means line is fertile. The line is Nongken 58S, the first PGMS line discovered by China in Japonica variety, Nongken 58 by Professor Shi Ming Son of China. TGMS here temperature is more than 32 degree celsius uh, in the day and night is 24 degree celsius means line is sterile if the temperature is less than 24 hours uh, 24 degree celsius during day and 18 degree during night means line is fertile the success story is anong 1s that is first tgms line discovered by chinese in humnan critical sterility points Temperature at which complete sterility is induced and critical fertility point is temperature at which maximum fertility is achieved. PGTMS, this line in which fertility sterility behavior is influenced by temperature also. Two line approaches via chemically hybridized agents. This is commonly called as gameticide are the chemicals able to selectively sterilize male fertility without affecting female fertility on spraying at a specific dose at the sensitive stages. China is the only country where this is being used for commercial hybrid seed production. List of chemical hybridizing agents in utilized in rice, ethrel, ethrel plus uh, isourea, then arsenates, sodium methyl arsenate, zinc methyl arsenate, monosodium methane arsenate and other combinations. 
Coming to apomixis, use of apomixis to develop F1 hybrids is called one line method. So farmers can use the harvest from the hybrids as seed for the next crop as with any in inbred rice variety. Attempts to discover apomixis in rice have not succeeded so far, but research is still underway in Italy and China. Approaches to produce apomictic rice in this search for apomixis in the wild germplasm of Oriza. If successful, transfer the apomixis character to cultivated rice through wild hybridization. Use mutagenesis to induce apomixis in rice and use molecular approaches to engineer apomixis in rice. And this is only possible through engineered male sterility of apomixis. Coming to grain quality of rice hybrids, on par with commercial variety like uh, IR64, Jaya, Sarju 52, not comparable to the premier quality varieties like Sona Masuri, White Pony, uh, BPT5204. This is affected by negative factors like low head rise, recovery, stickiness and mild aroma. Problems mainly due to narrow genetic base of CMS line and efforts underway to develop well adapted indigenous CMS line with better grain quality. Resistant to major pests and diseases, hybrids under development are regularly being screened for resistant to major pests like stem borer, BPH and galmage and diseases like blast, BLB and sheet rot. Recently released ones show either tolerance or resistant to one of them that is PA6 triple four has resistant to blast tolerance to wbph and sheath rot bph and colmage coming to hybrid rice seed production so far we discussed about hybrid rice and now the seed production how it is done the desirable character of any male sterile line for this High seed yield depend on desirable panicle, flow rate and stigma character of CMS line. Panicle should be exerted from the flag leaf as far as possible. There should be at least 100 spikelets per panicle. The flow rate should open wide and remain open for at least 45 minutes or longer. Blooming flow rates should have exerted stigmas. Stigma should be receptive to pollination for five to seven days desirable character of maintainer and restorer line for this panicle should be long and contain 125 or more spikelets completely exerted from the flag leaf filaments should be long for complete anther exertion from the florets anthers should be large and plump with many pollen grains Anther should shed most of its pollen only after it has exerted from the floret. The isolation distance requirement for hybrid seed production distance isolation of 50 to 100 meter in this range no other rice varieties except pollen parent should be ground. Time isolation of around 21 days heading stage of parental lines in hybrid seed production plots should be 21 days earlier or later than of other varieties in the vicinity. Coming to barrier isolation, natural topographical features like mountains, rivers, forest act as barrier like crop barriers, maize, sugarcane, susbania, etc. covering 30 meters the crops which are having a greater height should be uh, act as a barrier then artificial barriers like polythene sheets of 2 meter height coming to seeding time of uh, a line and r line normally r line is seeded three times the seeding dates are separated by three day intervals a line is always seeded just once because it is just a male sterile line or it is a female line so no need to uh, sync no need of synchronization but to ma synchronize male with the female lines the r line has to be planted repeatedly the seeding of the a line and the second seeding of r line are separated by number of days difference in their growth duration 
spacing in the hybrid rice seed production between two R lines the row spacing should be 30 meter between two A lines the row spacing is 15 meter between R and A lines it is 20 meter and between two hills of A and R line it should be 15 meter sorry all should be in centimeters 15 centimeters coming to flag leaf clipping it involves cutting long and erect flag leaves to remove obstructions to pollen movement supplementary pollination supplementary pollination is artificially shaking the canopy of pollen parent at flowering to increase the cross pollination because rice is a self pollinated crop so pollen dispersal will be to a limited extent it is done by rope rope pulling or using a bamboo pole choice of area and growing season for hybrid rice seed cultivation area should provide best possible conditions at flowering and pollen shedding the temperature should be 24 to 28 degrees celsius day and night temperature difference should be 8 to 10 degrees celsius relative humidity of 70 percent and good sunshine the extremes of temperature continuous rains and strong winds are harmful for this adjust the crop so that flowering takes place after the high temperature period but before the start of low temperature period higher seed yields are obtained in rabi season than karif so hybrid rice production is profitable during karif rabi than the karif seed production seasons near forest rivulets and valleys give higher seed yield selection of seed field for this uh, free from volunteer plant well uh, levet leveled fertile soil with good physical and chemical character and well drained soils seeding in the seed bed for this puddle the seed bed field twice at an interval of 7 days to destroy any germinated rice seed or wheat seeds or this is to avoid the voluntary seeds construct 5 to 10 cm raised beds of approximately 1 meter width of any convenient length then construct drainage channels between seed beds to drain the excess water and apply recommended dose of fertilizers so pre-germinated seed uniformly and sparsely on the seed bed then adjust the seeding date of the parent in the seed bed so that flower at the same time in the field this is nothing but synchronization as i already discussed this the seed rate of a line should be 15 kg and uh, r line is 5 kg give proper all package of practices like irrigation weed management disease pest control to get healthy and vigorous seedlings coming to transplantation to commence as, as soon as seedlings are 21 to 25 days old if transplanting of a line is delayed then delay transplanting of r lines by the same number of days transplant one or two seedlings per hill of the a line then transplant two to three seedlings per hill of r line so keep the r line and a line ratio 2 is to 6 to 12 synchronization of flowering flowering of female and male parent almost at the same time is called synchronization for this flowering of parental lines can be synchronized by differential seedling weather fluctuations during the growing seasons and crop management practices may cause the parental line to flower on different dates when flowering is not synchronized hybrid seed yield, yield will be reduced synchronization of anthesis is also important achieving synchronization the primary strategy is staggered or differential sowing then second uh, strategy is production of flowering and making suitable adjustments accordingly methods of advancing flowering first one is broadcasting for this uh, the chemical quantity for male is 50 to 60 kg per hectare and female 100 kg per hectare stage of application is before stage 3 and uh, ad adjustment possible days are 4 to 5 likewise there are different methods spraying broadcasting flooding 
GA3 application and boric acid application. Coming to gibberellic acid and its application. Gibberellic acid enhances the panicle exertion from the flag leaf. This increases the duration of floret opening and increases the rate of sigma exertion and lengthens the duration of stigma receptivity. It also increases relative height of pollen parent over seed parent. Gibberellin or gibberellic acid is sprayed twice. First dose when 50 to 20, 15 to 20 percent of the tillers has started heading. The second is done in the second days after the first spraying or when 35 to 40 percent of the panicles of seed parent has emerged. The optimum dose is 45 to 60 grams per hectare. Coming to roguing. Roguing is removal of off-type plants. It is important operation in seed production for purity of seeds. At vegetative stage, remove the rogue plants based on morphological characters of leaf and plant. At flowering, roguing is based on panicle characteristics and another color. At maturity, rogue based on grain characteristics and percent seed set. Coming to harvesting, harvest the pollen parent first to avoid mechanical mixture. Remove the harvested plants of the pollen parent from the field completely before harvesting the seed parent. Do final roguing in the seed parent plots before harvesting and then seed is properly dried, processed and packed. Harvesting the R line first and then harvesting A line. Coming to hybrid rice around the world, this covers the history and other prospects. Young Long Ping or Long Ping Yan is a father of hybrid rice. In China, it was the first country seriously investigated hybrid rice technology. Long Ping Yan was a director general of China National Hybrid Rice Research and Development Center Research, which began in the 1964. In the late 1960s, Chinese hybrid team scored the country for wild rice male sterile plants, eventually finding such a species in 1970 on Haiyan Island, initially did not find any restorers, but finally identified restorers in Irijomplasm. Hybrid rice was first released in 1976. From 76 to 2005, hybrid rice helped China to increase rice production from 125 million, 129 million tons to 450 million tons. Hybrid rice covers about 60 to 70 percent uh, up to 2008, but now it is around 90 percent in China. Hybrid scaring, bacterial blight, blast, BPH resistant genes are being developed and in 90s interspe subspecific hybrid rice breeding started. Super hybrid rice Hybrid rice breeding in Erie, it was an effort in 1970-72 initiated by Virmani at to locate CMS source in Indica rice were disappointing. The work discontinued after China announces successful development and commercialization of hybrid rice. In 1979, research on hybrid rice received by Virmani using Chinese CMS lines at IRRI. Hybrid rice from China was neither adaptable to tropical conditions nor available freely to countries outside China. So, IRRI scientists visit China during 1980 and 91. Subsequently, China agrees to share potential line material. Since 1980s, IRRI provided 90% of Chinese restorer lines directly or indirectly. Dr. Virmani developed several new CMS lines adapted to tropic, uh, tropical lines using wild abortive cytoplasm from Chinese CMS line V20A and Zenshan 97A. In 1989, development of first set of parental lines of hybrids by IRRI which were shared with the tested 
in some countries in Asia. Most successful among them are IR58025A and IR62829A. Also initiated parental line improvement and IRRI encouraged initiation of hybrid rice research program in several tropical nations. In 1990s, India and Vietnam started this program with the help of IRRI. Since 1994, commercial hybrids released in India, Philippines, Vietnam with IRRI parents. Hybrid Rice Research and Development Consortium initiated in 2008 at IRRI to develop effective collaborations between public and private sectors. Coming to Hybrid Rice in India, it uh, began from 1994. ICR launched a mission-made project on hybrid rice in December 1989, aimed at development of large-scale adoption of hybrids in India that supported financially by UNDP and technically by IRRI and FAO. Also limited support from private founders like Mahiko, now supported by ICR under NATP project. Project was uh, con conceived as national network consisting of research, seed production and extension network. Coordinated and implemented by uh, DRR Hyderabad, India became the second country in the world to develop and commercialize hybrid country. Important varieties and hybrids in, China, in uh, India, Janki that is selection from China Bryce, these are varieties, then Suganda from Katak Basmati, Giza 14 from uh, selection from Giza 14, then uh, SR26B from um, Kalambanka. Important hybrids are KRH1 that is a cross between IR58025A into IR9761 then uh, KRH2 that is a cross between IR58025A into KMR, KMR3 APHR1, APHR2 and CORH1. Through two line breeding 70U9 that's a cross between 700B into 1 whole 9 then E Zing Zone no 1 Hua Zing Zone number 1 and Pisa 77 through mutation breeding Zeb 24 was the first mutant variety of rice early maturity IIT 48 and DR 15 for dwarf and non lodging Jagannath High yield full gente developed by Italy. Famous international varieties jasmine rice, taxamati, golden rice, and basmati. Rice hybrids released in India are listed here, and the year of release are also given here. Widely adopted hybrids are KRH2, uh, PHB71, PA6444, PUSA RH10, DRRH2. Release of hybrids, how the hybrids are released. Experimental hybrids developed by the network center contributed by IRRI and private companies are pooled and evaluated in initial hybrid rice styles that is IHRT in 25 to 30 locations. 25 locations are minimum requirement. Hybrids recording average yield advantage of more than 15% over national check promoted to advanced varietal trial. Promising hybrids identified in AVT1 promoted to AVT2 where they are evaluated for yield quality resistance and response to cultural practices based on overall performance in IHRT, AVT1, AVT2 promising ones considered by varietal identification committee for uh, proposing them to central subcommittee on crop standards, notification and release of varieties. Uh, here there is a list of parentage of Indian hybrids. Coming 
to green super rice. It is also called as grain of truth that entered Asian market recently. It's a common answer to multiple stress, nutrient, yield traits related to rice with popular technique like marker assisted selection, candidate gene approach and whole genome resequencing in order to get rare alleles associated with specific traits. Transformation and transgenic techniques partially contributed to this technique. However, India need to adopt it in the near future to solve at least few food related issues but the major problem with accepting green super rice in India it is having some transgenic approaches also. This is the pipeline of uh, green super rice development where genes from gene pool, genes from non rice source and genes based on function, uh, functional genotypes are taken and trait to be improved resistant to different traits like uh, biotic stress, abiotic stress, nutritional efficiency, quality and yield are taken then through transgenic marker assisted selection and traditional breeding this is a combination of all the techniques and from which the allied cultivars and green super rice is developed. This is to address the multiple problem with a single variety. Cultivated green super rice varieties, the IRRI has released many green super rare, uh, uh, variety rice that is uh, GSR 5A, then GSR 8, GSR 12A, GSR 1 and GSR 11. These are multi trait resistant. Future outlook of rice breeding developing hybrids with acceptable grain quality, developing long duration hybrids for shallow lowlands and uh, coastal areas, enhancing the magnitude of heterosis by alien introgression, inter subspecific hybrids and two line hybrids, then incorporating resistance to major pests and diseases, then refining seed production package to reduce seed cost. These are some of the references. Thank you. Hope you liked my video if you liked don't forget to sub subscribe it thank you